Hi Virgo and welcome to your Taurus full moon tarot reading. The Taurus full moon is on October 24th. So this tarot reading will cover the period of October 24th through November 22nd, 23rd. Now Virgo, this Taurus full moon is all about second house energy, which is money and finances, assets, buying things. And full moons always bring us a manifestation of some kind. So, what have you been working on, Virgo? What have you been trying to achieve for yourself? Because aside from this reading, that could be very well what is manifesting for you during this Taurus full moon. But let's see what blessing the universe says is going to be bestowed upon Virgos during this Taurus full moon cycle. Oh, nice. Look at this, Virgo. We got proposal here. So this is some sort of offer or opportunity coming your way that you are very excited about, okay? Um, if you are in a relationship or you're just dating somebody, this could be where we're taking things to the next level during this Taurus full moon cycle. And what the next level is, is truly different for everybody, right? Um, some of us, this is where we're going to decide that we're committed to each other or maybe we're deciding to move in together or maybe we are deciding to get engaged or deciding to buy a house or a new car or a puppy you know different for everybody but this those of you in a relationship this is taking things to the next level or you and your partner really reaching a new dimension of your love and connection through this Taurus full moon cycle, okay? If this is not about love and romance, this is new offers and opportunities coming your way in some area of your life. This could be new friendships and connections. This could be a brand new romantic relationship. This could be a new job. This could be this amazing idea that comes to you and that's your million dollar idea or you've been trying to get finance or resources for some idea that you have and boom, here they are. They show up or somebody wants to invest in you and your product, all right? So Virgo, that is excellent, excellent energy to start your reading off. So let's see how this is manifesting, whatever this proposal is. Yes, Virgo, it's good. It's getting better. We have the super moon here. Emotions are running high. So this is a full moon, but it's a super full moon. And what this tells me is whatever this is, is something that really gets you going emotionally. It's happiness. It's excitement. It's what you want. All right. This is good, good, good stuff. We are... Um, our cup overfloweth, okay? Some of you, this might be just such joy that you almost can't take it, all right? With the super moon coming out. Oh my God, Virgo, this is like gold right there. So let's pull some tarot and see what is added to this. <clears throat> all right, well, <laughs> Yeah, many of you, this is about romance somehow, some way. That is for sure with the card that just had to fly out. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> Looky here. Look what had to jump out and join the show. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The World card. The Ace of Swords, oh my gosh, two Aces. And the Three of Wands, oh my gosh, Virgo. Best reading ever. <laughs> Best reading ever. Two Aces, Proposal, Supermoon, got the world here. Um, Virgo, those of you who are like, oh, I just can't take any more. Is anything ever going to change? I'm so tired of this same story. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. 
Virgo, yes, there are changes coming for you during this Taurus full moon, okay? Um, could be a fellow Earth sign, Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn um, with this Earth energy. But what I'm feeling here for you, Virgo, is some of you, this is like new relationships showing up. Uh, it's multiple relationships for some of you uh, with the Three of Wands in this position. Wow, some of this you thought was like over and done with, it would never come back around, and boom, here it is, um, conversations, offers, taking things to the next level, um, relationship bonds and connections definitely deepening, all right, Virgo, like this is gold, um, again, any sort of other offer coming your way, it's gold, and some of you, this could be where, you know, you get this opportunity to go on a trip or a vacation, um, or you meet somebody who's living in a different state or country for romance, and it's like exactly what you need to go and visit them to recharge your batteries, and it's like you guys are soulmates, okay? Um, it's just, man, everything coming to you, Virgo, is making you happy through this Taurus full moon. Unexpected opportunities, like things you thought would never come back around or were completely finished. No, um, it's like we're ending some challenge and here's a beautiful new beginning. Here's new conversations. Here's new ideas. Here's new offers and multiple at that, Virgo. My goodness. So let's pull you some advice for this not that you need it my god this is a great reading holy cow definitely virgo there is a blessing coming to you guys somehow some way through this taurus full moon whether it's romance whether it's a trip it's a new relationship, it's a reconciliation, it's a new job, it's a new money-making idea, it's growing ever closer with somebody you're already with, like, it, there is a blessing, no question. <laughs> Look at this, the grand cross, the provoker. This is interesting because Virgo, I kind of feel like there's <sighs> feast or famine, right? feast or famine, and I think some of you guys, this is like a quadruple buffet, and you're like, which one do I go to? I, which one do I choose? Okay, some of you like legit, that is what's happening here, the energy, the offers, the opportunities, whatever, it, There's it's an abundance of it, or there's multiple choice here, and you're like, wow, which one do I choose? Because I like this, and I like that. So Virgo, where you may have not had any opportunity or, you know, not feeling motivated, no creativity, nothing coming your way, boom, like that changes through this Taurus full moon. And some of you, it's so much so that you don't know which way to go. It's like, whoa, there was nothing. And now look at all of this to choose from. Hmm. So let's see what the outcome is, Virgo. Oh my goodness, look at this, the satire, reverie, reverie and indulgence. Um, yes, Virgo, listen, you're about to have a feast of some kind. There is blessing and abundance coming into your life over this Taurus full moon. I mean, my goodness, two aces, super moon, yes. Um, you might be a little sensitive, but I feel like this is more your emotions are running high because we're so excited or we're so happy or we're feeling a bit overwhelmed by the opportunities or the happiness, you know, because this right here is like, we're just indulging, we're enjoying and nobody's caring, like it all is good, all is happy and that's your reading, Virgo. So whatever uh, the universe has in store for each and every one of you personally, it looks very good to me and um, multiple opportunities and offers for some of you. My goodness. So Virgo, enjoy this time. 
very prosperous and lucrative for you, uh, especially romantically. The strongest would be romantically. Um, deepening of relationships, taking things to the next level, new connections coming in or reconnections. Um, also connections in other states, other countries, but man, if they offer you vacation, go for it. If you're going on vacation um, during this Taurus full moon, you might actually have a fling or meet somebody where you can have a long-term relationship and that might be where we're like, oh my God, what do I do? Okay, because that's what this is. It's like multiple directions pulling you and which one do I choose? Which way do I go? All right. So Virgo, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.